There's certain laws of nature, of course, we learned in science class that seem to be indisputable. And a lot of them are this man's, Einstein's theories, including the one that says nothing can go faster than the speed of light. But now that's being called into question. Here's ABC's Rob Nelson. For so long, we all thought this gray-haired fellow was pretty smart, a symbol of genius, no less. After all, his famous E equals MC squared theory is one of the pillars of modern physics. But is it really possible Albert Einstein had it all wrong? If these results are true, it would be revolutionary. It would show there's a crack in the foundation of something that we have believe for over a hundred years. This week, scientists at the world's largest physics lab, the European Center for Nuclear Research, announced new findings that debunk Einstein's 1905 theory of special relativity, that nothing can travel faster than light. They blasted subatomic particles nearly 500 miles from Geneva to Italy and say those little guys actually broke the cosmic speed limit. If you find some matter particle as an neutrino going faster than light, this is something which immediately shocks everybody. This is seismic news that could undermine everything from the age of the universe to how accurate those trusty GPS systems really are. The news also takes the world a step closer to the long fantasized idea of time travel. If the European scientists are right, we could all pull a Marty McFly and head back to the future. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Scientists say that as something surpasses the speed of light, it's moving so fast that the rest of the normal world is actually moving backwards in relation to it. Many scientists remain skeptical of the findings and independent confirmation is still needed. Plus, previous challenges to Einstein have all been proven wrong. The odds certainly seem in favor of the special theory of relativity and Einstein ultimately coming through as it has in every other experiment that we've ever done. For most of us though, the idea of time travel is still a bit tempting, if nothing else, to go back and pay a little more attention in physics class. For Good Morning America, Rob Nelson, ABC News, New York.